Someone left this comment on a video that I posted asking why Jehovah's Witnesses who've left the religion, who either got disfellowshipped, who got reproved, who got shunned, why once they go out, why would they ever go back? Now I know two of the biggest reasons they would go back. One is because they miss their family and once you're shunned or disfellowshipped that you can no longer be around your parents, your siblings, anyone who's still a Jehovah's Witness, all your friends. So you miss them and you have to repent and, and go back to being one of Jehovah's Witnesses. And one of the other biggest reasons is because you're told that if you're not a good Jehovah's Witness that you probably won't make it into the paradise and that you're going to die at Armageddon. And here's one of the biggest lies that Jehovah's Witnesses tell their members. Uh, and I believe this as well because I was born and raised into it. So this person says they go back because the world has no love. Just to put that into perspective, if you are not one of Jehovah's Witnesses, you are worldly. You are part of the world. So they're insinuating that you have no love. Growing up, uh, when we would look at the Watchtowers and Awakes, they would always depict worldly people as like drug dealers, um, abusers, alcoholics. So they make you think that everyone inside the religion is a good person and everyone outside is not. And that's one of the reasons that they go door to door is to convert people to become Jehovah's Witnesses. Then you'll be a good person. I was one of Jehovah's Witnesses for almost 40 years and I can honestly tell you that the most loving people I've met are outside the religion. The actual most kind, generous, loving, and I'm saying unconditional love, not love based on what you believe, what color your hair is, if you have a tattoo, who you're friends with, what you follow on social media, what movies you watch, what music you listen to, who you love. I did a fitness competition a few years ago and won first place, and I'll tell you, not one of my family members, not one person from the JW uh, congregation, not one of them showed up or supported. When I was in the Miss Health and Fitness competition, and it was out of a thousand women worldwide, and it was based on Facebook votes, my family would not even vote. Uh, I still won top three, and you know who supported me? It was all the worldly people. When the congregation had the public shaming talk all about me, when my parents disowned us, guess who was there? The worldly people. Guess who still comes to visit us? Guess who still sends us cards and gifts and messages? If you are one of Jehovah's Witnesses and you believe this, that the world has no love, I am here to tell you the opposite. I believe the same as you. It's not true. The world does have lots of love and kindness and empathy and compassion. I promise you.